situation in Serbia with the arrest of a 13 year old boy after he killed eight of his classmates, seven of them girls, one of them a boy, and a security guard. We understand six other children are very seriously injured, a teacher as well. Uh, but the boy, as we've seen in those images, has been taken into custody. We understand he called the police himself to be arrested, uh, although others had called the police as well. Uh, now, we're also hearing that he will not be criminally charged because uh, under Serbian law, uh, children uh, cannot be charged for crimes, even as heinous as this one is. Uh, but his father will be charged. What exactly those charges are, we don't know yet. But the reason the father is being charged is because the two guns, the 99, or sorry, the nine millimeter pistols that were or pistols that were used in this attack, belonged to the father. Uh, they were legally registered firearms. But of course, uh, this 13 year old boy was able to have access to them. Had uh, problem in the Balkans is there are a lot of weapons left over in the 90s war, so the fear that this is a glass breaker is so real. Oh, yeah. Three magazine rounds with 15 rounds inside of them and unleash them on his classmates. Errol. It's very dark stuff there, MTRs, and you make those comparisons with the U.S. Much easier to get weapons in the U.S., much more difficult in places like Serbia, and, and you've noted how the father um, has been arrested. So what more are we learning about this seventh grader's potential? I mean, low-key, that's not like a bad policy. I'm not kidding. Like, that, that seems like... It seems like not an entirely bad policy. Like it, it's it's something that America, I mean, America's never going to look at that and go, yeah, we should do that. But isn't that a little fuck? The kids are one hundred percent innocent. They're not though, and like this is one of those edge cases. You know what I mean? Motive. Yeah, it's a really good question, a perplexing question, uh, and one that I'm sure many parents who are grieving in Serbia are asking themselves, particularly those who've lost their children, just how could a 13-year-old want to do this, want to do this to his classmates? The short answer is we don't know yet. We have heard reports that uh, he may have been the victim of bullying. Some have even suggested he did poorly on exams. Uh, but Brother... Uh, chatters, I'm not saying a 13-year-old should roam freely after, you know, killing nine people, okay? I'm simply stating that uh, adding uh, legal culpability to the fucking parent of a minor, I think, is a good decision. Like, no, man, you can't fucking... What? You can't kill nine people and just, like, roam the earth... What kind of fucking take is that? I don't even think that they're doing that in Serbia. I'm sure there's like some kind of institutionalization that is going to happen to this kid. Yeah, he's probably in custody somewhere. Are you out of your mind? Like, guys, like places outside of the United States of America are not like, you know, operating under different boundaries, okay? No matter how, like, America tries to sensationalize it, it it's not like, it, like, the, the kid is, is probably institutionalized in some way, shape, or form, okay? And if not, they will make an exception. I'll give you a great example of this. Anders Breivik. Now, in Norway, you don't have life sentences. Like, there is no life sentence in Norway. The maximum amount of uh, uh, the maximum amount that you can get is 25 years, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me, right? If I'm wrong, 27. But what they do in Norway, for example, is uh, in the case of like Anders Breivik, who is a white supremacist, mass murderer, terrorist. If you remember, he killed like more than 55 uh, kids, students that he thought were Marxist uh, on an island, on a on a retreat. Um. What ended up happening to him is that he will be permanently institutionalized. So he's in prison, right? So what ends up happening is, uh, what ends up happening is like, once he serves out the end of his sentence, he gets all the way to like, uh, 
uh, the the uh, 20th year of his like you know maximum sentence he killed 77 people okay so thank you um so what ends up happening is they will continue his sentence if he is not technically rehabilitated and considering that like you know he is uh, he was an adult at the time when he committed these mass murders uh, these atrocities that are like literally unheard of for Norway that there is most likely going to be continuous extension 10 years uh, tacked on to his charges at the end of his 20 year sentence what they consider to be maximum sentencing and they will keep extending it over and over again while doing numerous psych evaluations to see if he truly has rehabilitated So even though on paper, Norway doesn't have a maximum life imprisonment uh, sentence, it doesn't matter because he will, his sentence will uh, continue. His, he will continue to serve a prison sentence that will get extended over and over again at the end of his prison uh, sentence. Similar principle here. Like, I'm sure that because there's because this person is a minor and underage, they are technically not considered, like, a criminal in the criminal justice system, and their parents uh, undergo, like, actual legal scrutiny in the criminal justice system. But there's no fucking shot that, like, they just let you go. You know what I mean? They just let you fucking roam free. But to further to your point, uh, Errol, Serbia is a country which in the 1990s suffered a terrible war, the Balkans War, if you remember. Uh, there is a lot of weapons in that country. In fact, mm -hmm. it is a country with the third largest number of weapons, uh, and uh, not many of them are registered. But this is also a country which, relative to, say, the U.S. and indeed other countries, has not had a lot of mass. I know what happened to the killers of Jamie Bulger in the UK who were children. One of them is a fucking pedophile. Uh, and it has been re, in, re uh, has, has, you know, has gone back to prison. Uh, what happened to the other one? Did the other one like kill himself or something? Yeah. This is a very famous case of like two kids that killed another kid in the UK. Um, and and it was a huge deal like they kidnapped the child they they were also two children they kidnapped the child they tortured him and then i think like they were 10 years old and basically they were institutionalized everyone wanted them to get like the death sentence but because they were 10 years old they they had the possibility of like you know parole and uh, and then they did get out, as a matter of fact. Uh, but one of them was literally a, a, a pedophile in, in his adult age. Yeah, they had mobs forming out of the court. One of the two kept reoffending, and he's, I think, still in prison. So, the point is, I personally think it's better to have a pr criminal justice system that is lenient and focuses on reintegration, rehabilitation, lowering recidivism rates, uh, treating prisoners like human beings, which is uh, demonstrably a more successful form of institutionalization, uh, with exceptions made for criminals that go above and beyond, you know, serial pedophile rapists, mass murderers, and the like, rather than the other way around, where the criminal justice system is, like, by default, inhumane, torturous, and creates uh, incredible amounts of, incredibly high rates of recidiv or incredibly high rates of recidivism, and, and very, uh, like, making reintegration into society an unlikely uh, situation that happens by the grace of God, almost like a fucking miracle, uh, with with some levels of like, uh, 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 with with some levels of of uh, leniency every now and then, like in the case of fucking Brock Turner when it's like a rich white kid, or when you get like a a rich white kid with affluenza, you know what I mean? They 
Like I I think it's it's better to do it the other way around. Why do you support all of that even when you know that it increases crime among communities like poors and blacks and browns even? What? Hello? I would love to see the this study. It would be an outlier. If such a study existed, it would be quite literally an outlier that does not disprove uh, the, the countless amounts of studies that have been conducted on uh, a rehabilitative approach to uh, the criminal justice system being demonstrably successful. Um, there's even anecdotes that you can look at if your fucking head cannot wrap itself around empirical evidence. Um, so I don't, I don't know what the fuck that was, but you know, take a day off and reconsider it. I think. <laughs>